Hello everyone, welcome back. The Nook Elite skin is here in Rainbow Six Siege after many years and thanks to Ubisoft I have been provided with this Elite skin to showcase it to all of you and go through it and just show you if it's worth buying or not. Of course, that comes down to you. I'm just here to show off the skin just to let you know what it looks like in game. Now, just like with every Elite skin, it comes with a headgear, uniform, weapon skin, all that jazz. And of course an MVP animation which I'll play here with its sound. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, if you didn't see my YouTube short or my TikTok about this, I find it really funny that they've made Nook like a princess or a royal in this because there's been a massive theory in R6 lore ever since Nook came out that she's actually the princess of Denmark, hence why a lot of her information is redacted and hence why it would pose a threat to national security, which is stated in her lore. So, you know, <laughs> unless they're just poking fun at the theory or, you know, they're playing into it and this is actually true, it's, it's pretty interesting that that's the MVP animation and the Elite skin they went for. So let's take a closer look at this Elite skin, her headgear, and everything in this is called Midnight Crown. Uh, you'll notice that this is significantly smaller than mostly any other headgear she has, since you don't have the big veil over it, it's just a lot smaller. Um, does look really cool though, still no face reveal, the closest thing we've yet to get to a Nook face reveal is this headgear, because if you can see, uh, you can actually see... The silhouette of her face below this you know you can see her nose there and her chin but still no face reveal uh but it's still pretty cool headgear i like it it sort of reminds me of the witch king from the lord of the rings or something along the lines of that like sore on her <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool skin i, I kind of like it uh i like the uniform quite a bit i feel like this is gonna be quite cool to match with other headgears especially if she gets um like a faceless like sorry like a maskless headgear showing her face one day which I do hope we get at one point. Like, I hope there's a big lore reason behind it, why we're finally seeing her face. You know, Grim does know her identity, and maybe something will come from that. So I do think that'd be cool. That looks massive compared to this headgear. I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, the Splinter Cell headgear for her. I don't know. I kind of think that's cool. Uh, but anyway, you know, I, I do think one day, once we do get a, a face reveal headgear for her, because it's going to be at some point, uh, I do hope... That it would look cool with this uniform because I do really like it. Uh, uniform as well. Again, it's a it's a lot skinnier than her other uniform since she is wearing like a corset, and it's uh, you know much more figure defining. Of course, hit boxes are all the same on any skin. Visually, obviously these ones are bigger, uh, but it's still the same hit box. So you're not going to change much there. You know there it is with her uh, default uniform on. She does look a lot different. I think it's because we're so used to Nook having such a big head because of the, the helmet and the veil and everything. So seeing her with this headgear, where it's a lot more uh, skinny, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty cool thing to see. Of course, since Nook is, you know, n not really a gadget, it's more based on the thing on her hand, there isn't a gadget skin with this. As far as I'm aware, her glove does look near enough the same. It's just been retextured like with any uniform. You know, granted, now that I look at it, most of her uniforms keep her hand the same. They don't really change it much. So I guess you could say this one is a gadget skin since the glove does look different. Because as you can see, when we look for all these ones, her glove is the same uh, regardless of what skin she is wearing. Of course, that's the elite one. Uh, but there you go. So, you know, technically, yes, it's a gadget skin, but it's nothing you can toggle up here, if that makes sense. It's purely based on a uniform, which I'm sure a lot of us were probably expecting, to be honest. Uh, headgear? Sorry, not headgear. Player card. There is a player card. Pretty cool. Looks like she's holding her little fencing sword, which she's seen in her MVP animation. I've got the cool little ghost eyes infiltration in Nighthaven's lab background. Uh, she does come with a access to the golden background. Now, I said in my last Elite video, which was... Ying, I'm like, you know, who, who uses the golden background anymore anyway? Let's be honest. Uh, we all have a bunch of these cool backgrounds, so, uh, you know, why would you use the golden one? But apparently, a lot of people came out in the comment section and said, no, I like to use the golden background still on my elites, so fair play. So it is there. But personally, you know, I've got all these cool backgrounds, and I think this looks pretty sick with a lot of them. Where's the Doctor's Curse one? I feel like I look with that. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. 
Uh, but it's a great player card. It matches a lot of these backgrounds. I, I kind of like this one, though, just because it's exclusive to Nook, which I think is kind of annoying. I don't like that there's operator exclusive backgrounds, but, you know, hey-ho. There's one from the current battle pass. Looks like that one as well. I'll put that one on for now. But uh, yeah, that's the uh, the player card and everything. Weapon skins, of course. You have one on each of her guns called the Midnight Crown. I actually really like this. It's a really nice weapon skin. I'm running the um, the Night Haven attachment skin with this, which is the sort of carbon fiber, which I think is one of the best attachment skins in the game. I, I love running that skin on pretty much everything just because it looks so clean. But it goes especially well with this Nook skin. There it is on the shotgun as well. A really nice skin. I, I think a lot of uh, elite weapon skins kind of miss the mark. But I think this one is really nice. And uh, yeah, I honestly might run it because I just... You can't really go wrong with black. Black in some like design throughout. It's really hard to mess up. So I think it looks pretty good. And the final thing here is her chibi. Her elite chibi. There she is. She's got her little sword. Her little crown on. That is there. Pretty fun. They made her head really big in the chibi, but I guess that's the point. And um, let me jump into a quick custom game just to show you what it looks like from the first person perspective. However, it's not really different than the current look for Nook. So here we are. Uh, you can see her from the operator menu here. You'll see her player card. Nothing really different in game. You know, activate her gadget. You can see her glove. Her glove is different in this one, like I was saying, which is cool. But um, other than that, nothing really different to the sound or the UI. Everything pretty much looks the same as it usually does with Nook, which, you know, let's be honest, we're probably expecting that. Her right hand does have her, her fingers out, which I don't think any other uniform has, so... I know a lot of people are fans of how the gloves look, because obviously that is the main bit you see in games, so if you want to have Nook wearing, like, some gloves which are exposing her fingers with this one as well, then you glove enthusiasts might really like this uniform, which I think is fair enough, because... You know, let's be honest, that's the only part you see when you're playing a game. But yes, that is the Elite skin for Nook, the Midnight Crown Elite skin. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you, Ubisoft, once again for providing me with this Elite skin. Drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you're new. I'll catch you later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.